Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is going to be hard to do with my arms. It's Dr. Jen from the Rose Center for Learning, and this is your Monday message of mental health. And your message for this week is to shift your perspective. So I'm upside down and my arms are going to die. It's like a workout from the gym at the same time. Uh, hi, everybody. So what does that mean? What that means is that we tend to look the same direction, what's right in front of us, or we use the same tools, or we see the world in the same way. Uh, day after day, month after month, year after year. And often we get stuck in a rut, whatever kind of rut it might be. It could be a rut in your job. It could be a rut in your relationships. It could be a rut in whatever goals you're trying to achieve in any area and you just can't get there. It could be a goal in your physical health. It could be, a, I mean, a goal. It could be a rut in your physical health. It could be a rut in your mental health. It could be a rut in anything. And here's what happens. The more you keep on trying to fix it the same way, the more you just dig into whatever's not working. And it gets supremely frustrating. So the best way out of a rut is to change your perspective. Look at things in a different way. You might need to stand on your head. You might need to talk to somebody different. You might need to take some advice that you haven't been taking because you didn't think it would work or that it would apply to you. You might need to read something totally different. You might need to research a little bit about, you might need to research a little bit about what would be a helpful thing. So many options of things that you can do that are different than what you're doing now. And if you think you've tried it all, keep on trying. Be loud, talk to people, read, research, watch movies, um, watch people out there in the world, see what people are doing, and try everything. But it starts with shifting your perspective. And in that way, you might even solve it yourself because the world can look very different with just one tiny little shift. I'm going to put my arms down now. <sighs> a good example would be, so a client that I have, um, she basically was given the message that she couldn't, whatever it was that she was trying to do, she couldn't, couldn't do it. And so she internalized that message and became a very frightened person to try new things. And so when she came to me, this was starting to bother her because she had other people in her life in her life who wanted to do all sorts of things and she was always turning them down and always saying I don't feel comfortable or I'm scared or I don't want to or whatever the case may be usually she would just say oh I'm too busy but the truth is is that she was afraid she came to me she said I'm grippled with this fear I don't want to be afraid anymore and she said I've tried all these things I've you know taken classes on how not to be afraid and I've you know, tried to trick my brain and I've tried to do all of these things and nothing is working. And so the more she was talking, the more she had this central theme of, I can't, I can't, I can't, I just know it's not gonna work out well. And I said, what if you're wrong? She said, what do you mean? And I said, well, what if it's all a lie? What if you've been told all along that you can't, but actually you can? What then? What if it's all a lie and you actually can achieve anything that you want to achieve. She said, well, that's not true. I said, okay, well, let's pretend that's true. What would you do if it were true? How would your life be different? What would you try? And just by that shift of let's just pretend that it's not actually true and what would my life look like? She started to be able to achieve what she wanted to and ultimately she was able to, but it started with that little shift. That's what I mean. So it could be a message that you've been given, it could be a message that you're giving yourself, it could be that it just looks impossible. Anything can look impossible if you continue to look at it in the same way, but try changing your perspective and seeing if that actually gives you a solution or maybe even just faith that the solution will come and that faith provides hope and that hope provides motivation and that motivation can turn into action. So try changing your perspective and seeing what that does to the world. Look, 
there's emo in the background. If you guys haven't met him yet, I'll introduce you to him on another day. All right. That's your Monday message for this week. Shift your perspective. No matter where you shift it to, have fun seeing where it takes you. Have a great week. As always, check out all of our videos, click them, enjoy them, and share them with everybody. And if you have any questions, don't be shy. Go to our website, Rose Center for Learning, and you can contact us there and uh, see you down the road.